Good morning. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome back to Poor Investor. Today, we will be visiting Discord and specifically information on Chia. What exactly am I talking about? What did Bram say? What the hell is going on with GPUs? Lack of employees, meaning they did a mass layoff last year or late last year, and the quality seems to be diminishing. And that's uh, the take that I'm getting because it doesn't mean that they're not pushing out updates or anything. It just means that there's no one probably overseeing the quality or the items that are coming out or they have enough sufficient manpower or should I say people power to find little flaws before releasing it. And what am I talking about? And you, you may probably have came across this already, but if not, I'm going to update you because I know majority of my viewers based on the comments that I've been getting. And remember to comment below because I'm still picking XCH winners from my previous video and in this video. So don't forget to do that. Sub, subscribe and all that great stuff. All right. So let me let me talk about what's going on. So one thing is great push new versions, updates. That's what we're always looking for, right? Back end development uh, improvements. But now you're being told to downgrade, right? You're being told to downgrade on purpose, not because you're running into a situation for yourself or you're probably, you know, things are not just going right for you. Now, I don't know what exactly is the problem, but for something to be pinned, something to be announced and making sure that everyone backtracks to the previous version after only releasing the new version within two days, where is the uh, you know the quality assurance, right? It, it probably doesn't even exist anymore. Most of them probably got laid off. So anyway, let's go over a current price. It's not sustaining itself in comparison to Bitcoin, right? Uh, it's 3847 right now. It did not hold up. Let's do the last seven days. You got these blips. People are selling off. People are frustrated. People are done with it. Did I sell mine? I did not. I did not sell mine yet. I did not. I said I was. I was convinced not to. To be honest, if I sold everything that I had now, which is the 90 plus XCH, it's not going to change my life. It's not going to even do anything for me that would be significant. So, you know, I thought about it. I'm like, all right, you know what? If it goes to zero, it goes to zero. But if it goes higher, great. But right now, if I sold, it really doesn't mean anything. And not only just that, everyone's been commenting in that they're having difficulties finding an exchange without KYC to even get it out of there. Uh, and on top of that, without even like being traced or anything like that, right? You're going to pay taxes. You're going to pay all these high fees for transferring. Let's just say you had to uh, take X your XCH, get it over to some other coin and then extract it from the, all that nonsense it's a hassle chia does not have anything substantial enough in any exchanges where you deal directly with the exchange and xch you have to go through loopholes you have to go through hurdles and it's just a hassle to be honest it really is and i used to do that with kucoin i had to i forget what coin i, I did a bunch of videos on it too i had to pay with my my real money buy some altcoin go into kucoin convert it no i had to convert it somewhere else i, I just it was a it, it's, it's nonsense nonsense anyway so 38.53 right now current price of xch within the last seven days uh one day it's been going down like almost four four and a half percent but in seven days you can see it wow it jumped up 21 percent. well that's because look how far down it was previously right it's like seven dollar difference six dollar difference Anyway, Bitcoin is still standing at 62,000. All right. Uh, even though it, it shows a slight red, but barely, barely. It's it's making its rounds. It's definitely getting up there. 63,4 within a, a 24 hour period. Uh, 63,400 if you guys are listening and not watching. So anyway, <clears throat> sorry about that. Let me go through what I wanted to talk about in regards to Chia. All right. So a couple of things stood out to me. I'm, I'm on the forum. I'm on Reddit. All right, please just ignore why am I permanently banned? I've said enough stuff. <laughs> but I wanted to point out more, more interesting things with Chia. So 
2.2 was out. This is within two days, right? So this is a big announcement. Please downgrade now. Now, if you click on it, it, it has a pinned announcement and it says, please downgrade back to 2.14, which is, I believe, the previous version of it right before the 2.2. They even removed the 2.2 out of the picture. You're basically back into the most relevant version within 2.14, okay? Because 2.2 was supposed to be much newer, more upgrades, whatever the hell it was that was in there. I have no clue because I didn't even get a chance to even look at the release notes. And I'm, I'm sure it's out there. And you guys probably jumped on the bandwagon as soon as it came out. But let me know if you ran into any issues with it. I really don't know what the hell went on, wrong with it. But this just shows that they do not have enough people to oversee the quality of their software. All right. Remember, they are a software company. They claim this themselves. They are the next or they they're following the red hat model. How do you follow the red hat model without in, without with insufficient staff to, you know, monitor the quality of what you're releasing? I'm just saying, guys, I'm not I'm not digging at Chia. I'm just pointing out reality. If it wasn't Chia and with some other company, come on, you think Mr. Beast can put in this whole production with just two guys or three guys, he has a whole production team. He can do. Can you imagine Hollywood, mo Hollywood, <laughs> Hollywood movies making a production like you know whatever big production movie you can think of with just a couple guys, a dozen guys? No, it takes like hundreds, hundreds. You got the light guy, you got the camera guy, you got the special effects guy, you got the the editor, the you know all of it, all of it. But th that's just my point, right? You removed half your staff of talent. Now, I call them talent because everyone was supposed to have a special contribution to the organization. That's the only reason why you would get hired. Unless you're the son, unless you're the son of the CEO or you're like Bram's kid or Gene's cousin or something like that, and they just wanted you to learn and they threw you in there, but you have no significant value whatsoever besides getting coffee, then fine, fine. Maybe one or two of them accounted for that, but they're definitely not getting high pay. But anyway, so let's take a quick look. I wanted to jump on this and then this video wasn't all about this, but there was something about GPUs. I wanted to get into that, but downgrade, whatever the reason. And, and they went through within the discord and on Reddit, like, you know, some of the problems with it. And I'm not even going to get into it because you know why? Because it's technology of Chia is it's out there. It, it's tr they're trying to revolutionize it with this whole GPU stuff. And that's going to lead me into my next next segment. All right. We're already eight minutes, almost nine minutes into this. Check this out, guys. I want to talk about the chi uh, the GPU Chia compressions. Right. And we're going to go through this entire post from Bram. Someone was nice enough to kind of just pick out the segments from Bram. And we're going to dissect this. But. I'm debating if I should do that in this video now because it's already nine minutes and you guys probably won't even see into this far. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to dissect, go through each comment and go through the original discord to see what is being said about this whole compression level. But long story short is that he's talking about being anti, uh, what, what was that word that they used? Anti-compression. He's literally saying, Bram is saying that, you know, this is getting out of hand. Now, let me let me point, in, uh, point something out to you guys. With this whole GPU thing, there's been a lot of debates, right? You're doing compression. That doesn't mean you're saving more energy. You're being more energy efficient, but you're not saving more energy. All right, that's one. Two is you're definitely utilizing GPUs for being, you know, constantly doing compressions. You're not just calling the GPU whenever, you know, you need to, uh, what is that, hit a block or something. You're you're constantly using the GPUs. It's, it's compressing these plots, right? It's definitely doing its mathematical algorithms and, and calculations. So how is that different from, you know, uh, proof of work? How, right? Uh, a lot of debates on that. And I think it's getting to the point where this compression levels are getting out of hand where you're spitting out plots within seconds how is that better how is that more energy efficient yeah it's better for the farmers it's better for farmers who have data uh, uh data center enterprise level equipment 
mass amount of storage. But how does that work in comparison when you're competing with the small farmers, which is you and I? I'm just saying, guys, just saying. So stay tuned for the next video because I will be talking about more into the, that post, right? So I'm going to be talking about more about this post from Bram within Discord. We're going to dissect each section to make sense of it. So you know, I know where Chia stands. All right. I want to thank you guys for being here. Please hit that like, comment, subscribe because I'm still giving away XCH. If you stay this far, comment below, sub, and hit that like. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.